Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Glenn Pahoda. In this video, I'm gonna show you what I normally bring out in the backcountry with my camera gear. All right, so what's up, y'all? So the bag you see in front of you is the North Face Terra 50, 50 liter. And you're wondering, that doesn't look like a camera bag. And I know you go mostly in the backcountry shooting images. And how do, you, how do you pack your gear? So I get lots of questions um, how to do so. How can I pack for an overnight or two or three day hikes uh, up in the mountains and at the same time bring your camera gear? Um, right to this day, there isn't a bag where you can, you can make your own pack to however you want it, but there isn't a dedicated bag out there for four or five or six days out in the backcountry with your photography gear. Right now it's either or, and I'm, I'm gonna show you how I do it, as you can see in these other videos right here, from previous trips where I carry the same setup. So for this setup, it's a 50 liter. It's plenty, um, plenty of space for an overnight hike trip. So not included in this, um, things that's gonna go on my person, my neck knife, um, the heat, uh, my phone, chapstick and all that. That comes in a separate bag in which I usually change into or put on right when I get to the trailhead. Also a water bottle, which I bring on my Nalgene, I have on the outside. All right, so let's start from the outside. As you can kind of see, the pack itself is, is nicely streamlined. There aren't any like extra pockets or stretch out pockets where it, it kind of like protrudes out. Starting on the outside, I like to bring my Vargo titanium cup. I just let it loose a hang. It does make noise, which is kind of good because it, it'll startle an animals as you, as you approach. My headlamp, um, this is actually packed from a recent trip. We started the hike around like three, three o'clock, four o'clock. Um, even with daylight savings times, it kind of gets, it's still kind of dark. So. I have this on the outside and then my JBL Flip 2 Bluetooth speaker, this goes pretty loud. And the thing about this speaker is uh, you can daisy chain it. So you can have one, the person, if you're traveling in a group, have one person in the front of the, of the pack, one in the back or I can't, and you can kind of have like a one on each hammock or tent. So that just kind of stays with a carabiner on. My water bottle would go here where you can see my knife on the shoulder. Um, your basic waist pouch uh, right here I have is the Canon G7X with three batteries in here. It's going to be my vlogging camera on hikes. And this other pouch, cliff bar, and some chapstick. These, these pockets, uh, however, are too small to fit any size phone, which is, doesn't matter because I put it in my pocket anyways. Um, my whistle. I don't use it because this one comes with a whistle. I use this to uh, compare the temperature with my watch and a compass. This, however, did break, but with the warranty it came with, which is lifetime, they sent us a new one. Uh, let me see. All right, let's start from the top. Let's start to go inside. Ooh, I have a little buff muff kind of around my neck, beanie, overhead. Um, like I said, we're gonna start in the morning or we start in the morning. It's a little bit chillier in the morning. I have my hiking glasses, super lightweight, the flex, unbreakable. And if I'm not using it, I'll just use this as a carabiner, put it, hook it somewhere. Next, Lucy Light. Uh, in this mesh pocket, I'd, I would put my keys once I start the hike. That way it won't get locked, lost. This is the Go Zero Nomad 7 Plus. It's a dual panel, and on the back, I have a micro USB cable, a lightning cable for my iPhone, and also has an extension. The good thing about this is it comes with its own stand. You can prop it. You can prop it up. You can hang it with the carabiners on your tent. You can hang it on outside of your pack and charge all your devices. So I'm starting to bring this around a lot and it helps, especially if you're traveling in a group or we have tons of devices that need USB charging, like the new seven, the Sony A7R2. Um, there's tons of space, but I kind of don't need anything. Anything else on the top? 
This pocket is kind of like my, uh, my emergency, no, not emergency, but my uh, bathroom pocket. In here, blue. It's for my quick trips to the bathroom. TP, as you can see, oh, as you can see, I have my hand sanitizer. These go together and also save space. And after a few wipes, I follow it up with some baby wipes. Keep that butt clean. Um, this a loose strap for my sleeping pad. I think that's it, that should all be in here so I know what's, where everything is at. On the other side, my fire kit. I have dryer lint, ladder, some tablets, some waterproof matches. My 1100 Surefire light. This goes on me, on my waist. So you can kind of see I have two of every, everything. Headlamp and my waist light. Um, some paracord for accessories or the bear bag, food bag. Um, yes, yeah, so here's some patches from Kings Canyon, from Mount Whitney area, and then the Tahoe uh, Rim Trail TRT, which we hike a lot. All right, let's go into the inside. Let me see how I'm gonna do this. Uh, let's move this to the side. First on top is my Low Pro Utility 100. Um, in here I have the 5D, which we're using out of film, and the 24 to 105, which sits right underneath, and they fit perfectly in here. So I do have options, especially when I'm on longer parts of the trail where I don't need to take photos or there's nothing to hike or hard terrain. I'd pack it in here and then put it up on the top of my pack, which is still quickly accessible. But if I am traveling at a distance where there are some photo ops, I kind of just keep the camera out, camera uh, lens attached, and then hung around my neck. So that's the Low Pro Utility Bag 100. Uh, this is all weather. Um, it has a pouch. And also, I can hang other stuff here. Um, and I can also hang it on my belt. So if I am going down to get some water and to the lake or river and I see some photos, I'm gonna bring my camera. This goes here. Next on top, what do you think? Be my next uh, second needed item in the woods. My food. It is Zpex Cuban fiber sack, lightweight. I've got some uh, mules, just enough for two and a half days. Some mountain house, uh, my koozie for my cup. Some, some uh, sweet watermelon. My first aid and medicine, sunscreen, toothpaste. I got this uh, drip, which came from uh, another Karen video. You can kind of see in the links here. So check them all out. Check all of these out. Some cliff bars, some chewy lemon heads. Uh, what else? My spork. Some water flavoring and some coffee. Got this from a recent uh, wedding that we shot. These were the giveaways straight from Starbucks. It's pretty cool. And this is probably two servings, but knowing me, I'm probably going to use this plus this into uh, one, one serving. But yeah, we got a bunch of these and we're going to start using these on our trip. So that's my food bag plus some other bars in there. As you can see, I have tons of other Tons of space there where I can stuff more food if I wanted to. What else we got? We got a beanie for night and my gloves. You notice I can kind of reach in here and I already know what's next. That's a, that's a tip you guys can take from this. Always know what's, what's in your pack and where to reach it just in case you need to reach it uh, right away or just kind of a general knowledge to know where everything's in your pack. So the next is this, my cook kit I've been using recently. It's, I found this um, at a recent garage sale, just a pouch, and it happened to be MSR. But in this bad boy is this wind burner from MSR. It's this crazy, crazy beast mode. Uh, it can boil water in a couple of minutes, sometimes underneath that, depending on the, low, uh, the conditions. 
But it has everything. It has your pot, your fuel can stand, um, the burner, um, the fuel can. Everything's self-contained. And then if you want to go real lightweight, yeah. It has some dirt from the recent, most recent trip. A bowl with uh, four ounce, eight ounce, and 12 ounce. Sippy hole, strainer hole. This is the one liter version. That's all I need because most of these dishes and meals don't require that much. All right, next, uh, silky gone boy, cut down trees, cut down firewood. Not to cook food, but just kind of like have at camp. The new Nemo Cosmo Air. This is 20 yards. This is pretty long too. This is almost like every other sleeping pad except one, one uh, exception. You can use your foot to pump it up. So you can just kind of like pump it up and it'll blow up, which is cool. So I've been using this a lot. Next up is the tent without the tent pose. Um, you can kind of see this can, can go down even smaller. This is a North Face Stormbreak 1, 1P, one, one person. You can actually fit two people in this. Um, the reason why I like this, it's lightweight. It's not really compressible. Um, it has a vestibule, which is cool. On the side of that, down the ridge to get more support on, the, on my pack or the poles for that. You see, they're not bent. These are pretty strong. My fleece at night, I like to keep thing, everything uh, together. Um, Except for this, the reason why I don't have my sleeping fleece with me is how the, the shapes are these. Um, in my pack, there are lots of voids, and I fill that void with my fleece. And should I take this out? Uh, yeah, why not? Let's do it. I can get it from the top or from the bottom. It's mid-November on the past trips uh, we've been taking. It's been getting down into the 20s, 30s. Of course, I can bring my 20 degree bag, down bag, which compresses down to this. But it had all the space and luxury to bring my zero degree North Face bag. And it's here. Yeah, I'm not going to pull it out, but it's in the Cedar Summit uh, waterproof but breathable compression sack. And this guy, I mean, it comes out to like, it's pretty big, uncompressed. So that's in here. And then some other loose stuff, my raincoat. I like it bright and orange because it is hunting season and it's also good for photos. You can kind of see me far away and some camp socks, some sleeping socks. So that's it. That pretty much covers me to go out to the back country for a few uh, days, grab some photos, grab some good food, uh, enjoy the scenery. So I hope you were able to take some tips and tricks and uh, some ideas of what to bring out in the back country as a photographer. All right, see you guys in the next video. Peace.